Welcome back to another basic game maker studio tutorial and this time with a definitely cool thing which is the Super Mario Bros. Uh, overworld animation which you can actually do pretty easy or at least an easy version which I'm gonna show you in Game Maker Studio. And one thing which I'm asking of you now, of course you don't have to do that, that but it would be cool if you could well, troll me on this video because I actually wanted to try something funny out. So I did a little bad thing as, as it seems, I verified my channel which you don't have to do that but after I did this all my videos normally when I upload um, then I'm getting some subscribers and it basically just killed everything so views are regularly but I'm not getting any subscribers and this is just kind of strange so I, can, I guess I bugged the system with a verification good job Google YouTube <laughs> so if you could do this little thing for me just if you see this video downvote it all please 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 just do this one time um, download this video for me that would be really really great if you could help me out with it just download it that would be pretty sweet um, I want to see if this will bug it out again but you came for this video tutorial so I'm gonna show you how to do this so this is a way for example I guess these are three you more let's say six frames and this these are just three so pretty pretty easy stuff so let's do that in Game Maker Studio. So what do I have? Basically, I have my little overworld map. So no coding here. Just to show you how this is. So I have ground, the streets which you're walking on, and then those little things. And I wanted to animate it. So yes, if we go into the room, so this looks already okay, but maybe I want to animate it. So it looks like it's bouncing and moving. And this is what I did here pretty easy stuff. So how can you actually do this in Game Maker Studio? Well, you just make, of course you can do that on the other animation, uh, files animation uh, layers, but I just made a new one, why not? Use the same uh, map, but here I just did a little thing. So I'm just, let's say for example, I want the house to bounce. Well, let's take uh, this house here, let's take the blue one hopefully I didn't use it and then what I do I just take it and make it one pixel smaller so what I do I just do something like this and then bam make it smaller this is all the magic so two animation frames one and one a little bit smaller and then I just put that in this is the same what I did to put the trees and all the other stuff which you're seeing here bouncing yay 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 so how can you do this well you go under your tile set which I then you have um, your tile animation thingy so i just open it up make a new one set it to two frames because i well i'm not doing too much here hopefully this is not being used let's check it out because if you use it already then it won't be working yep i didn't use it so take the blue one and take the second blue one and just put it into the room because here once again you go under your animation tile then you have tiles, which is the regular thing, but you go on the libraries and I have lots of them. Just put one in here, make it bounce. Yay. <laughs> oh, interesting. So this one is skating to the right. So this is basically how it works. You just basically uh, have a tile set animation, uh, a tile layer. Then you take something in, make your animation. So one, two, no problem. Then you have it under your libraries. You just put it in, bam. If you wanted to see a little more detailed uh, video tutorial how to do tile sets, link in the description. And please, 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 just do me this little favor. Download this video, please. That would be, I would be really, really grateful if you could do this for me. Just probably one day. <laughs> okay, so pretty much done for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, I messed it up. So this was one one up indie and have a good one.